Today we're going to write function rules as equations and functions go along with our discussion of proportions and constant rates and ratios, unit rates, all of those things that we've been talking about the last few weeks and into this week. When you get back to class tomorrow then we're going to plot some functions on a coordinate grid and then we're going to see some functions that are already plotted and determine what the rule is for those plotted functions. So let's take a look at this first example. Uh, Janine is ordering chairs for the furniture store. The function table shows the number of chairs he orders for each table. And we have created this function table here. Notice we have an x value and a y value. x is the input, y is the output. Um, so if Janine knows the number of tables he needs, uh, he can take it times a constant to figure out how many chairs. And of course that constant would be, as you can see, four chairs per table. So if we were going to write the rule in words, we would say to find the number of chairs sorry my chair is not working out, there we go, uh, multiply the number of tables by 4. Alright, so again, we just take the number of tables, multiply it by 4, that will tell us how many chairs we need. Pretty understandable, right? So part B tells us to complete the function table to find how many chairs Janine orders if he has five tables. Well, we take the number of tables, five times four, and that means we would need 20 chairs. Now we're going to write the rule for the function table as an equation. We're going to use the letter Y to represent the chairs and X to represent the number of tables. So if we don't know how many chairs there are, we're going to write it kind of like our um, word problem up here in A was. So to find the number of chairs, to find Y, we're going to take 4 times X. Or you could write it 4X equals Y, either way. Okay, That would be a right way to write the equation to fit the function table. So if uh, Janine needs 100 tables, you can plug 100 in for the tables and we know of course then that 400 chairs would be needed. All right, let's take a look at this next slide then. Oh, we're going to plot that tomorrow in class. I'm not going to worry about that. Here they gave us the equation for the function. It says the function y equals 2x doubles every number that's put into it. If we input 5, the output's 10. If we input 10, the output is 20. Create a function table showing four input-output pairs. And then you can save the graphing part for later. So this is number one in your notes. You're going to make a function table, you're going to have X and you're going to have Y, and you choose four pairs of numbers that would fit that X, Y. Now, uh, since we are going to be graphing these pairs, let's try to keep them under um, the number 20. So don't go any higher than the pair that I gave you here, 10 and 20, but try to come up with four other pair. Uh, that will fit this function and then we will work tomorrow to put them onto a coordinate graph. Alright, then the last thing today is if they give you a graph, uh, can you figure out what the function is? So the illustration shows the graph of a function. Refer to the graph to answer part A and B. Alright, so we have write the coordinates of three points on the line that represent the function and create a function table with these pairs. Okay, so you're going to create a function table you're going to have X and Y, and this time you're going to look in the picture where the line crosses at an intersection of a definite X and Y. I'm trying to mark it here. You know, it's sometimes difficult to do the plot. So look where a line crosses an intersection and record the X and Y coordinates. Once you get those three pairs listed, then you're going to use the x and y and write a rule of the function as an equation and it should start out y equals blank. So what can you do to x to get y? And then answer this question, do all of your x, y pairs then form part A satisfy your equation? So would all these numbers that you're going to have here 
would they work in the equation that you're going to come up with. That will be number two in your notes. And then we're going to uh, take a look at this tomorrow when you're in class.